really alone. This video. Is- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like when you like this, daddy. Daddy, I like, like, like scrambling, scraping for shit. I like that. <laughs> hey, yo. You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, what? I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But. Damn, why that nigga, why that little nigga numbers. so nervous? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga just, bro, that nigga was scared, bro. Like, what the fuck? See. 48 hours with Diddy, nigga. I'm not gonna lie, brother. That shit gonna be the day of hell. That nigga day. got two bottles. No, this nigga really is a villain. I've never seen no shit like this in my life. This nigga got two full bottles of Ciroc clinging them bitches together at 2.22 in the morning with shades on in his house. I should 1080, like? brother. Oh, for the kids. There are no misconceptions about me. <laughs> Where do you go to relax in the world? Uh, I like the Caribbean. <laughs> diddy, diddy, diddy. I don't even know where to start. Diddy might actually give R. Kelly a run for his money. Honestly, he might even be worse. But before I start this video, no, nigga, everything mm, I'm about is- Who worse, Diddy or R. Kelly? R. Kelly like- Oh, Diddy like minors too. Oh, Diddy then. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Y'all not about to sue my ass over this video. So this whole Diddy situation- That nigga got a four-star rug? Where he get that bitch from? Now, if you don't know who she is, she's a popular singer who made this song. You've been waiting so long, I'm here to answer your- now don't get me wrong people in hollywood have known that diddy's weird for years because p diddy be wanting the body and you, you gotta, gotta tell him no but cassie was the start of his downfall so after being in a relationship with diddy for 11 years, bro what is this tiktok sound this nigga got in the background and diddy telling him that she would write a book revealing all that she knows but she gave him an out she told him you're welcome to buy the rights of the book for 30 million dollars and honestly Diddy being a billionaire, he should have took the offer, but instead he did this. This Minecraft music. Allegedly shows Combs assaulting then girlfriend Cassie Ventura in a hallway. Diddy refused. Yeah, that's bad. So that's Cassie that's horrible. That's lawyers, horrible. And they decide to make it a civil case. That way they could go to court and possibly win millions. And so surprise, surprise, all of a sudden Diddy pays the thirty million dollars. But at that point, it was way too late. Whoop that, that trick. The case and realized that that case was a criminal case. And if you know anything about criminal justice, once the feds start getting on your ass, you're basically cooked. They started gathering evidence on this man for years. And remember how I said Cassie got paid that thirty million dollars for that book? Once people heard about that, everybody started coming forward with their own story basically trying to pocket whatever money they can and obviously whatever information they brought forth was useful because now they have enough evidence to make an arrest oh this is when oh that's when that nigga came out racketeering which for those of you who don't know is when you have a legal company and you use it to do bro beat that's the simple definition bro beat her ass in a towel he the goat horik see this is why like you don't get no bitches this is why you don't never come in the chat and be like big bro big bro big bro i got a today like th- like this is exactly why bro because you type in shit like this bro and then we got sex trafficking by force and the last one transportation to engage in prostitution this nigga is cooked so apparently word around town is that he has these free costs which are these damn <laughs> parties where he brings sex workers and celebrities and basically they have a dinner party i'm gonna let diddy himself You're describe what a dinner coffee, party bro. is like <laughs> we need um alcohols right alcohols right not just one alcohol. Alcohols. Right. Just Florals, different blend. You blends. need the ladies, you need the booze. I mean, that's you for need, every party um, type shit. Some water. <laughs> water. Oh, I mean, okay. okay. No, no, I mean, yeah. I don't know if guys have, have water this, on like, standby. A lot of yeah. ladies drink water at parties. They right. just, you know, so you have, if you don't have what they need, they're going to leave. Right. Got to right. keep them there. Right. You need, you need locks on the doors. That might have been a joke then, but that shit definitely. You need locks on the doors. Yeah, he did that shit, gang. He did all that shit. He did everything. He did everything. Bro, look how old this interview is. Bro, this interview is from like, at least like, like, 04, bro. This nigga been doing. Bro, that's crazy. Okay, this is sounding kind of dangerous now. <laughs> it's a little kinky, but yeah, you know, yeah. Robert, a little? Just, right. What? I need um, a lot of heat. A lot heat. of heat. 
Yeah. Heat. You mean the so most because they're in there musty. Hot. You don't have no air conditioning. No air conditioning. No. Why is that? Heat affects the alcohol, and it also affects like um, you know everybody gets a little bit more comfortable and loose. Builds up a nice little sweat. This nigga got a. Yo, nah, bro. This nigga really. This nigga really been doing this shit for like 20 years. Nigga, he's the exact same 20 years ago. This nigga is no different. This nigga has been a villain. This nigga has been a villain. He didn't just turn into one over the course of his career. No, he started out as one. He always was a villain. PhD in freakyology. That just sounds disgusting. What are you doing? Depends on the way you look at it. Oh, people yeah. start getting kind of, it gets kind of sexy, is yeah. that what you're saying? There's only one way to look at it. You got a bunch of strangers in the room, musty as hell. And I don't care what type of shower you take or what type of cologne, perfume you use. You stay in that heat long enough, you gonna start smelling like Badusi. And with this new police report that says they found a thousand bottles of baby oil in Diddy's residence, I can only imagine how sloppy and disgusting these parties are. I'm not even gonna lie. Bro, you could send Diddy to death and all that, bro. I don't get no shit. I just want to hear one thing. Why did you have a thousand bottles of baby oil? Do you know how long it takes me to get through one bottle of lotion? A long time, my nigga. It takes a long time. They say baby oil lasts a long time. Just, just one bottle. What the f*** did you need a thousand for? What were you planning to do? He got a lifetime supply. Maybe he likes collecting baby oils. Why the fuck? Th nigga, that's such a weird thing to collect. Nigga, why? Yo, skin dehydrated. No, nigga, my skin is not dehydrated. Nigga, my skin is smooth, nigga. And oh yeah, I can't forget to mention that Diddy has an all-black soundproof basketball court that has two beds in it. Not the one, not the two. So nobody's gonna question why there's two beds in a basketball His skin court. not smooth. Yes, I checked I checked it yesterday. Hey yo. Pretty high stake games. Niggas were playing to 21 for some sexual favors. See this shit got me questioning LeBron. Cause I know he be at these parties. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like, like a diddy, diddy party. party. Yeah, that's what's yeah. up. And ain't no way this nigga ain't been on that court. Bro, I'm really starting to think that any person that regularly hangs around Diddy probably got diddified. They're diddlers now. They all belong yo, 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 don't never say that word again. Don't ever say diddified ever again, nigga. In Diddy land. The last freak off tape that just got sold on the dark net, which I know because I monitor, went for 500 million. It had multiple stars in it. Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Drake. Drake? All right, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I refuse to believe that. That bitch say Nicki Minaj, Justin Bieber. She say Rihanna got sold on the dark web for 500. Nigga, get the f on. <laughs> right? Get the it was f on. It a really interesting night in Calabasas and he just sold that footage. The thing I find most insane about this whole situation is how this nigga Diddy wasn't investigated any sooner. When you see the clips I'm about to show y'all, you'll understand just how suspect this guy is. You know, the reason why Diddy is so terrifying isn't just because he's a freaky ass nigga, it's also because this nigga is fearless. And I mean that in every sense of the word. Okay, let's see if you can guess the person I'm thinking about. He once had a face tattoo, he once was a heavyweight world champion, and he's also someone you just do not want to fuck with. Now, if you thought of Mike, Mike. Tyson, Mikey. You're correct. Now I want you to Mikey. watch the interaction that Diddy has with a young Mike Tyson. We're not talking about old Mike Tyson right now. He's a wise guy, you know. He he's learned to control his temper. We're talking about a young Mike Tyson. It, it truly is about the Benjamin, man. Let me see. Oh yeah, he's he literally. What's he trying to do with his hair? Well, now when we come back, we're gonna talk more with Puffy, and if you wanna hang out, more than welcome to stick around, my brother. Y'all yeah, remember how I said Diddy is a fearless freak? Yeah, this nigga not only made Mike Tyson uncomfortable, but he did it on live television. Mike Tyson, I'm talking Iron Mike Tyson, the nigga who was not. Sometimes you gotta out pop out and show niggas, bro. What do you mean by that, bro? And just look at his face, bro. The nigga is stunned. Bro is baffled that his freaky ass little diddler plan didn't work. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. The fact that you had Mike Tyson like genuinely uncomfortable and like wanting to move away from you is crazy i ain't gonna lie my nigga well, you got issues when you got drake saying that he studied you after that rap beef with kendrick y'all already know how drake get down so if drake is studying diddy just imagine how much worse diddy is this nigga is the og freak professor freak off this nigga is one of the founding fathers of this freaky shit obviously like you is that nigga, what is that nigga's site? Teamlove.com. That's a fucking nasty, that's, that's a disgusting name. Diddy Dance-a-thon. This nigga is a sex villain. Like, I have seen a lot 
lot of shit in my life, bro. I've seen a lot of shit in, in, in these 19 years of my life. I have never seen no shit like this. Diddy dance a thon. What the fuck? What could that be? possibly have you want to talk about studies talking about the other day you know we we we, we studied you since since howard days you know since you were since you since those gra I, I studied the stories that spoon used to tell me from howard days what stories are we from howard the college howard this nigga been oh yeah bro this nigga been a villain for 40 plus my nigga this nigga is like if madara won in naruto nigga what do you mean you've been studying this nigga since the howard days what are you talking about? Were. Relentless in what way? The pursuit of booty? Else that can tell me that, that where, where it means more because you've seen it all, done it all. You know what I'm saying? And now all my brothers behind me, we're trying to do the same thing, following your footsteps. You know, every night we're out here pounding the paper, doing what we can do. And we all take care of each other. So it's I ain't gonna lie, that's too many trigger words for me. It feels like there's a hidden message here that you gotta know to know. I ain't never seen Drake dick ride this hard either. That's crazy. At first, I thought it was a one time thing. But one thing I've noticed is that every time someone is interacting with Diddy in person, the interaction is always so awkward and they look like they're super uncomfortable. It looks like they can't wait to end the conversation and just leave. Please watch this interaction and tell me something doesn't feel off about it. <sighs> My baby bro, we here. Time. Tomorrow is time. time. What the time. fuck? What you gonna time. do to that thing, man? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they better tune in. Due to that thing? What thing? That nigga is Scott running away. Eye contact with dude. Yeah, tune in. Let's go. Bro, tried to play it off the like he had to be. Whole time he was just trying to get away from Diddy. The nigga didn't want to get diddled. Matter of fact, if you watched Dora growing up, I'm about to make a new chant for this nigga Diddy. Every time I see him do some freaky ass shit, I'm gonna hit him with the Diddy no diddling. Diddy no diddling. <laughs> diddy no diddling. Freaky ass nigga. And then we got his weird ass interactions with me. Diddy no diddling. Diddy no diddling. You cannot convince me that this is a normal interaction between two grown ass men. While we on the topic, did you get that thing oiled down? Nigga, this joke don't make no sense. Because I don't have a cut. So, like, what the f do you mean? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You deserve it. <laughs> That nigga Meek Mill is stressed on Twitter, bro. That nigga don't know what to do. That nigga got no clue what to do, bro. Awareness? That nigga's lost. There had to be some other way you could have referred to him in that moment. And the coincidences are starting to add up to the point where we can't help but assume something. I mean, look at this. I was talking to Savage, talking to me good. Why he only turn around when he said fucking me? Did this nigga Meek Mill really get his booty diddled? To answer the question, and allegedly... Nigga, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, I think we all know Meek did something with Diddy, bro. That nigga did something with Diddy. That nigga stay avoiding everything about Diddy. That nigga did something with Diddy, bro. Allegedly. Yes, because apparently Diddy's ex-security guard caught Diddy taking this nigga Meek Mill to pound town. Everybody was... This is exactly what I was about to talk about. Asked out, yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the fucking door <laughs> and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on, overdrive. but I just heard balls <laughs> slapping against ass cheeks. I heard niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, hey, Daddy, and I recorded all that shit because I was like, this nigga Diddy bitch. So I'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and give me a couple dollars and just ain't, you know what I'm saying? And for those of y'all wondering, this is the recording that he's talking about. It could say, I'm finna put the squeeze on him. <laughs> hey, yo! Turning up to me every party. I mean, that Dreams and Nightmares is a classic. This shit bring every party to life. Talking about, I used to pray for times like this, to like this. So I had to grind like this, to shine like that. Now I'm wondering, what was he grinding on? Who were you grinding Bro. on, Meek? In the matter of time I spent on some locked up shit. What did they do to you in that jail, nigga? <laughs> what happened in there? You better not have dropped that goddamn soap, Meek. And I haven't even talked about the grooming allegations that people have made about Diddy. People are claiming that he groomed Usher and Justin Bieber. Shit. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know about I don't know about Usher. Nah, nah, he definitely groomed both them niggas. I ain't gonna lie. I moved to New York City 
and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> Puffy Flavor uh, that, 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 that nigga whole That nigga whole energy started to shift when he, when he said Diddy. That nigga whole energy, that nigga said, yep, yep. Like he didn't want to talk about the nigga. Flavor camp? That doesn't sound like a place a 13 year old should be even within a five mile radius of. It's no wonder Usher always trying to touch up on somebody's wife during his concerts. This nigga got didified. Did he make this nigga into a freak? Learn Flavor some... camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're gonna go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna in the nineties. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like no, just nigga, filled with chicks we and don't. orging like nonstop. I want y'all to tell me if any of this looks normal to you. And keep in mind when these events took place, Usher was 13 and Diddy was 22 because Damn. they have a nine-year age gap. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and I mean, damn, pause, but like that's how. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. We used to fight over the frosted flakes. <laughs> used to fight. We used to fight over the frosted flakes. Wrestle off of the off of the frosted flakes because. He used to always get up early. Wrestling? <laughs> now he's one of the richest songs yo, in the world. And I'm yo, what, what the fuck did Puff just say? Why is that a 22 year old wrestling a 13 year old? Is that Usher? Yeah. Diddy told him personally that he had sex with Usher. And when you look at the lawsuit, even though they got Usher's name redacted, you could tell who it is because they described him as the guy that performed at the Super Bowl. Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. And these Ooh. allegations are. No, 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 no. Situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Yo. Are you telling me this nigga fucked him so hard he sent him to the hospital? Usher ass was dead. Oh, yeah, that nigga ass was plump. That nigga shit, that nigga, he probably couldn't even feel his shit no more, bro. That's crazy, bro. This nigga did he put that nigga under the jail. Usher, I'm tired of Usher. Oh. Goofy bitch. Oh, damn. You got your asshole ripped open and the only thing you it inspired was loyalty. They ripped your asshole. Then you take Justin Bieber from Lily White Canada yeah, Justin. and take him to the flavor of fuck off the kitty edition. Get his ripped open. Now everything's coming out and the first thing you do is run to Bali with another kitty right who works with the man L.A. Reed that sent you to the Diddy flavor freak up so i obviously can't confirm any of these allegations but if they were true they would make these videos make way more sense i mean just look at this interaction that he had with justin bieber why he got nigga Dude, why are you touching- Bro, that nigga, bro, that, bro, that nigga really is traumatized, bro. This video, recent, too, nigga. That, that Justin Bieber has grown up. Another man's chest that many times. And notice how Justin Bieber That's never makes any eye contact with dude. And nigga didn't have a single like, lick of eye contact. Starting to act different, huh? You, 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 ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, he been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Bro, this nigga Diddy is like 30 in this video, bro. This nigga Justin is like 13. F*** you mean hang out, nigga? I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. As an old head, why are you that pressed to hang out with someone that young? And also, why is he that nervous? Y'all gotta keep in mind that Justin Bieber is like a child superstar. Nigga said, so gotta get it how you live. Talking to people. It just doesn't seem likely that he would be nervous and stuttering in a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone who he's hung out with before. Unless... There's a deeper reason behind that. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right, okay. My number? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Sorry, my number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Now I want you to pay attention to Justin's behavior Yo, in the last bro. video I showed you compared to the video I'm about to show you now. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let you rock this every time you come right. to LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, every oh, time you come okay. to LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, who did the first shot at this? Man. And, uh, it. Okay. Okay. Alright, so, so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. 
Notice how he's talking normally and he isn't nervous at all. That nigga so ain't nervous at all. Uh, I'm so nervous now. When you get 16, you uh, good to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. You okay. get the mansion. Okay. I yeah. get the mansion. Yeah. So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his. They're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know. Notice how he's talking normally and he isn't nervous at all. So what's happened since then to make him so nervous now? Where we hanging out and what we doing, <laughs> we, we can't really disclose. Why are you with another person? We, we can't disclose. You know how that shit still ain't been disclosed, right? Yeah, bro. The allegations is true. Child, and you tough. talking about you can't disclose where you're taking them. That just seems strange to me. I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and we, we going to go full, buck full crazy. <laughs> If you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. We're almost at 10K subscribers. Don't forget to like, <laughs> comment, again, subscribe. Also, oh subscribe to our reaction channel, 40 Shams Live, and join my Discord. We do all types of stream events on there. And Jesus if you want to be a Christ, part of 40 bro. World, go ahead and join. And once again, keep turning oh, me up. I appreciate y'all for watching. 40 Shams, 40 World, I'm out. Love you. Hey, man, just remember. Diddy, no diddling.